This special presentation of EWA 2018 was made possible by Evanix Air Guns, Umarex Arnsberg, Hudson USA, Daystate, Diana, FX Air Guns, Air Arms, JSB Predator International, and H&N Sport. And you guys know the best way to thank them. Okay, my good friends, we are in the Air Arms booth with Sheila, and you may remember Sheila from January when we met at the International Trade Show, SHOT Show, in Las Vegas, and we very much in depth went through their brand new Air Arms S510 Ultimate, Ultimate Sporter XS, which is now regulated. If you want more information on that gun, I'll link our last video together for you in the description down below, but that's not what this is going to be out. This, this, this is going to be about AESC's partnership with their arms, your partnership with their arms, and we're going to talk a little about, about what you can expect in the year to come. So long and short of that, um, and here in 2018, you're going to see three or four air gun, air arms products move through AEAC for you for review, and you're probably going to even see one or two of those be a review discuss win with Michael over at Air Gun Nation Forum. So I think I speak on behalf of That's these guys. Yep. They are very, very grateful for you guys doing that and um, just moving the product through AAC so I can have a learning moment with them and teach them what y'all are all about. But the, the guns you're probably gonna see this year is of course what Sheila's holding, which is their TX200 Springer. And we'll talk about that in just a minute. But we are gonna see the new Ultimate Sporter XS Regulated come through the channel. We are going to see their brand new TDR with the moderator on the end come through the channel. And this one, and there might even be another one, Sheila? There might be, but I can't say anything to you at this stage, Steve. I'll keep you in suspense. And this isn't an act. <laughs> I've actually been prying with the owner of the company, um, Clara West, and, and she will not tell me. But there's something big in store that we're hoping to see this year. Yep. And if they've got it ready, they're telling me they are going to give uh, me a chance to get my hands on it for you guys. So certainly very excited about that. But I want to open it up to Sheila. You know, this th this TX200 isn't a new gun. You guys have been making it a long time. I, we have, yeah. Uh, it's a very popular gun. Um, we've been doing it for over 20 years now. Mm -hmm. And it's still a very good seller. We sell a lot in the UK and it's very popular in the US as well. I, I noticed that, that that's the exact path I was gonna yeah. go down. For a lot of years, people have been buying, owning and enjoying this gun at a very high level. But I, I, I actually asked their permission to review it this year because I feel like with all the new product that's been coming mm -hmm. at us in the last five years, it hasn't really been talked about that much and it is a phenomenal, phenomenal gun. So maybe Sheila, if you could just take take us through it as if you're presenting it to me for the first time, maybe tip to tip, and maybe tell us a little bit about what makes it so special. Would that be cool? Okay, yeah. I mean, the TX200, as I say, it's been in production for quite some time now. We do it in a 177 caliber, 450 or 5.5 caliber. Um, Obviously, it's an underlever cocking mechanism. The barrel on there is fully shrouded. It has baffles fitted to reduce the noise. Okay. Um, has anti-bear trap fitted. It has safety buttons fitted. Mm -hmm. So it's um, a very refined, good-looking rifle, and it performs very well, very accurately. And um, also, in the, for the American market, we do it in a higher power, so it's about 16 foot pounds. Um, and as I say, 177 and 22 caliber. Great, would you be able to demonstrate how, how this works? Can you do it with the show models? Not really, because there's no spring in there, they're all non working. But basically, the underlever is held in place mm -hmm. with a ball bearing at the back. Okay. And you basically pull the lever all the way Which back. Which opens up. The breech there. To load it there. Okay, maybe can we? I'm going to turn it around just so they can see at home. Yeah. So then that's where you'd load your pellet. That's right. You load your pellet in there. And then you did you depress that? Have, I haven't done anything actually. Okay. So this is so that you can return when you depress the barrel. Or yeah, and then obviously it comes back up. All right. 
I'm right-handed and you're on the wrong side, so let me just I show them been. that. Is I'm that cool? left-handed. This poor so thing. It makes it good for me. You look like you look like you just had a shot of Novocaine in your two arms, and I, but it took me a minute to pick up on that. So yeah. if I followed her, the way this works is, how did you release it here? It just um, okay. Was the full bag. Okay, so oh, normally that would be under spring tension. Under tension. You cock it. Right. It opens up the breech. In goes the pellet, and then you depress this. The safety, and there's a button at the back as well. Okay, so those go together, and then. And then that would come back up. And then up. that would come back up. Now, what is the advantage to this kind of design, Sheila, over a traditional brake barrel? Can you speak to that, any? Well, I can. <laughs> uh, I don't really, I don't really know the answer. Okay, okay. Well, I'll speak to this. So, <laughs> what it basically does is it gives you a fixed barrel design, guys, and and without that barrel moving up and, and back, where you're having to worry about getting a different lockup each time. Since it's fixed, it contributes to greater accuracy mm -hmm. with the gun. Now, you guys have a very nice Springer trigger. We do, yes. It is a two-stage trigger, okay. um, and it can be adjusted, but yeah, it's a very good computer design trigger. Okay, so dual-stage adjustable? Dual-stage dual adjustable, yes. Now, this finish is beautiful. This isn't just mm -hmm. a show model, guys. They this is how they finish their guns. This is how they arrive. And this stock is just madness. Can you talk a little bit well, about this? Well, this walnut stock, all our stocks are made by Manelli. This version here is a very nice example, I would say. So don't expect to get them all like this. Okay. Although our wood is very special. Rosewood capping on the bottom underneath the pistol grip. We have the fish scale checkering to give extra grip when you're holding the rifle. Mm -hmm. And again, it's got a lovely pattern on there. We do still have it available in a peach stock as well. Okay. And it has the rubber butt pad on the end. Do you happen to know the ones that we get in the United States? Um, are they walnut and are they Manelli? They are walnut and they are made by Manelli, yes. Sweet. Yeah. But are, are you also saying that this fish scale pattern is, is it an option? No, that's standard on there. Okay, yeah. so so we get those we get yeah. those at home, mm -hmm. and what's the price point of this gun? You would have to speak to um, Pyramid Air Venturi. Air Venturi Pyramid Air. Air. Okay, Pyramid Air, if yeah. I remember, these are five, probably five six hundred dollar range. This is a very very nice Springer. Great, um, and may I ask? And if you don't know the answer, that's cool. <laughs> But, and I just wanted to recap on this XS and the TDR because a yeah. lot of people are excited about these guns, especially with this one now being regulated. Uh, this is coming this year? Yes, definitely. That should be over in the US in June. Okay, so summertime? Yes. Yeah, and then the, the, the new TDR? That's, uh, that's available now, the 510 with the side lever cocking mechanism. Okay, super. Later on again in the year, we'll hopefully put regulators in those. Wonderful. Sheila, you're a doll. Thanks for taking us through that. We've got a great year ahead with these guys. Thank you. Yes. I believe they're telling you thank you right home from, okay. uh, from their family rooms back home, and we appreciate you much. Thanks a lot, Steve.